I'm Rex Proctor, and in this screencast, we're going to show you how to splice movies in Sports Tech GB. So sit back and enjoy the screencast. All right, let's jump into my first project once again to show how we splice movies together. Now, I've added a couple of center bounce instances to make this process a little bit faster. So I'm going to double tap on those to chuck them up in the dock. Now, we want to splice these two together, so I'm going to tap and hold on the first one and drag it over the second one, and you'll notice that it highlights. And when you let go, it creates a third instance in your dock, and this is the splice. So if we play that, you can see that you're getting two clips that are playing at the same time. Now the problem here though is, is we want to look at the umpire's bounce and his back pedal and they're out of sync so it's very difficult to compare the two. So let's drag this back and let's get those in sync. By tapping on the splice button here to the right of the timeline where your playhead drags you can open up the editing tools. So let's look at the left one and drag that along. Now you'll notice the broadcaster is cut. This is the first center bounce of an AFL game and they often don't get the bounce very well. So here we got the umpire. You can see his arms back right in the center of the picture and we want to synchronize the second here on the right to that same position so we can actually compare the two. So we'll get his arms right about the same position you can see they have different styles. I'm not sure if it's the same umpire or not. Likely not. But let's stop, or let's uh, get out of the synchronization mode by tapping on the splice button. And now when we play those, you can see that they're in perfect sync. Let's go ahead and lock that into a little bit slow reverse, and we can focus in on the umpire and his ability to get out of the way. So that's how you splice two movies together. Pretty simple stuff. Let's clean up our dock, delete all the clips, and I'll go ahead and clear out my timeline, clean up the timeline, and pull back down and jump back into my projects. So that's it there. Thank you very much for listening, and if you have any questions, don't forget to email support at sportstech.com. Thank you.